Are you a lipstick loving fanatic? Tired of your tubes of lipstick that doesn't feel like you? Are you looking for a fun time? Well, look no further. You can make your own lipstick at Lab Eye Lipstick Design Studio. Hey guys, it's Nadine. Welcome to another episode of What's in Manila. Today, we're gonna create our very own custom lipstick at Lab Eye Lipstick Design Studio at Eastwood. So we just came into Lab Eye. We're in. We're gonna do the my own experience. Experience. We can make our own. Custom. My own experience. What? Experience, experience. My own experience. Experience. We're gonna make our own lipsticks. The process. Step one: finding your perfect shade. Miss Eleanor, the owner, started the session by asking what was my dream shade, so she could have an idea on what kind of lipstick we will be making today. I think it would be very helpful if you have some shade pegs in mind so you can easily share to the staff exactly what type of shades you prefer. If you don't have a clue, you can refer to what shades look good on you depending on your undertone. You may check by looking at the color of your veins on your wrist. I have green and bluish undertones so I was recommended more pinky lipstick shades. You may also browse their wall of lipsticks and try some on. They have so much options to choose from ranging from reds, nudes, oranges, and pinks, and purples, and just so much. These shades were all mixed by Miss Eleanor herself. Step 2. Pick a case. They have so many cases to choose from. When you get the ultimate experience package, you have all these options. It can get a bit overwhelming. <laughs> After much deliberation, Jewel and I picked the more eco-friendly paper cases. The prints on them are so cute. Step 3. Pick a lipstick shape. At Lab Eye, they have a cat shape, diamond, heart, and you should visit the store to see the special golden mushroom shape. Step 4. Pick a scent. The scents come naturally from essential oils. We smelled all of the options, and my favorites were the grapefruit and orange one, and I decided on the orange, more citrusy one. Step 5. Sterilize. This is the part where you feel like you're a bit of a chemist, so we start by sitting in the mixing area, and first things first, we want to make sure all of the utensils are clean. So we wiped everything down with alcohol. Step 6. Vitamin E. We were given beakers with the pigments already in it, and the first thing we did was we squeezed a whole vitamin E capsule into it. This ensures that the lipsticks that we're making are very moisturizing and very healing. Step 7. Stir. We stirred everything vigorously for 2 minutes. Sorry, I couldn't really adjust the framing of the shot. Step 8. Add other oils. Depending on the lipstick formula you prefer, there are a specific amount of beeswax and other oils and ingredients to be put in. They gave us a specifically measured case and we just had to pour the beads of beeswax in ourselves and then we just mix everything on the stove-like top, melting all of the ingredients together into one cohesive mixture. Step 9. Time to put everything into the mold! Really quickly, pour the lipstick into the mold and make sure to overflow it a bit. After 3-4 to four minutes, we can move on to step 10. Scrape! The lipsticks would have hardened after that amount of time. Yes, it is that quick to make a lipstick and we just had to scrape off the excess lipstick that overflowed. Step 11. Assemble lipstick. Now it's time for the hardest or most nerve-wracking part of this whole process, putting the lipstick out of the mold and into the case you picked. You need to have a steady hand for this, making sure the lipstick is placed in the middle, well aligned, because you don't want it to be on an angle as it might scrape the sides of the case if ever. And after it's well secure, ta-da! You have your finished lipstick. Congratulations! Completely made by you for you. Mine was this pinky shade, while Jewel's is a little bit of a darker uh, nude shade. So that 
that is the full lab eye experience. I would like to thank Miss Eleanor for inviting me to create my own custom lipstick. I think the full experience is really great as a special present for your special someone, like for your mom, your aunt, or your partner who really loves makeup and lipsticks. It's so fun and unique. The staff there are very well trained to help you along every step to make sure that the lipstick you're making is the perfect one for you. And that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you have other experiences that you want me to try or check out, then let me know in the comment section below and I will do that for you. But yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!